Welcome to Tuesday. No, Wednesday. Welcome to Wednesday. We are off on an adventure to Folly Beach, South Carolina. We're going to spend some time in the ocean. We're going to spend some time hopefully eating good food and just relaxing and we're going to bring you along. For those of you that are like, oh Jen, you're such a good effective packer. Not when I drive and I'm going to the beach. This is um, a lot. <laughs> I may have been ridiculed a little bit because of how much I brought, but it's a beach trip. You never know. So anyway, we'll see you there. So we're still here and not that far outside of Atlanta. We've been stuck in a little bit of, oh, I don't know, an accident. It's fine. It's fine. How long have we been in traffic? Long time. Long it's time. Updated, updated 18 minutes. Yeah, it said 18 minutes when we first got into this traffic jam. Seriously, how long have we been sitting here? An hour? We don't know. We've lost track of time, but we'll, we'll check in later. Maybe from lunch. Okay, so we are now at lunch. How was the drive, honey? <laughs> That tells you everything you need to know. We haven't even left Atlanta. We're still in DeKalb County. And also, I did not realize my margarita was this big. So it's a good thing that you're driving the rest of the way because I will be Cheers. sleeping. <laughs> We're in South Carolina. There's the South Carolina Visitor Center, which we are not stopping at. But, you know, there is one if you ever wanted to stop in there. So there you go. Woohoo! We've only got two hours and 51 minutes to go. Oh, okay, so the humidity is messing with my hair. We got here and it is as I expected. It is an older beachfront hotel. Um, you're, you're not really here for the room. You're here for that. Yeah, so this is a king premium room. It's got, um, you know, tile wood floors. Nice air conditioning, works really well. It's nice and cool in here, nice artwork. Um, this has a nice little sitting area there and it's not bad at all. I have to check the sheets because some people had said that the sheets were not fantastic. And um, yeah, they're not wrong. They're not great. I will tell you in a minute um, something that I did that Scott thinks I'm insane, right honey? <laughs> Full overkill. Um, this is an adjoining door, I guess, if you have an adjoining room. You've got, now this used to be a Holiday Inn. I know that for a fact. And this is the toilet. Online, some people had said that there was um, mold in the showers. And I am not seeing that at all. Like the shower has clearly been recently done. Everything in here is brand new and sparkling clean. So absolutely no issues with cleanliness at all. Everything looks perfect. Recently refurbished bathroom. So yeah, it's basically a, just a really basic hotel room, but exactly what I was expecting it would be. And we're only here two nights. So yeah, it's gonna be fun, right Scotty? I'll take you out. We're a little tired. That drive tried to kill us with all of the things. Okay, hold on, heavy door. And this, we just had a kind of a rainstorm come through, but they're redoing the pier here. But there you go, to the Atlantic Ocean. Not bad. And then the pool is down there. And there you go. So, oh, by the way, this hotel is pet friendly. If you wanted to bring your doggy. All right, we're gonna go settle in and then we're gonna get um, some dinner, I think, down on the main drag, which I don't know the name of it, but this is gonna be very cool when it's done, but it's not due to be done till 2023. Okay, so we just went to Burt's Market and it was kind of a, uh, it's, it's a very small store and there were a lot of um, screaming teenagers in there, which is kind of a theme. Kind of a theme, yeah. <laughs> That's, that. It's okay. There is nothing wrong with it. And there was a point when we had scream, although ugh, we had all boys, so they didn't really do the screaming thing, but <laughs> that's okay. Oh, sweet dog. There are a lot of really awesome dogs here. That's making me really happy. So now we're going to walk down to the beach. Um, Scott ended up getting cookies. Big old, beautiful, beautiful dog. dog. <laughs> um, look, he looks like a Marmaduke. Looks like part Great Dane, right? Uh, he's a giant part horse. <laughs> um, so yeah, the ocean is right over there. So we got cookies. I don't know if I can, am I gonna get any cookies? Yeah, sure. Okay, what'd you get, Oreos? I did. Oh, there you go. And we just made reservations tomorrow in Charleston 
thanks to one of my um, followers on Instagram, um, Steph, who said we should eat at Magnolia's. So we're eating there tomorrow for a late lunch. So yeah, not bad. This goes into the heading of, I'm kind of a weirdo, but in the online reviews of this hotel, people said two things, that the bedding was very cheap and that there was mold on the ceiling in the bathrooms. So the bathroom, as I already showed you guys, was spotless, but I brought my own sheets. So these are actually very high thread count, beautiful, organic cotton sheets <laughs> that I just popped on the bed. And then we asked for an additional blanket. And instead of the yucky one, really, really thin one that I showed you when I did the room tour, they brought up one of these waffle weave ones that's still not a duvet, let's be honest, but it is much better. And I think we will sleep much better because of it. Now, if I had flown, would I be able to bring our own sheets to put on the bed? No. Is it ridiculous that we're paying what we paid for this hotel, which I think was $3.89 a night, to have crappy sheets? No, it's not okay, but I did get a workaround and we do have that ocean view though. So there you go. What do you say, Scotty? for the sheets. What? <laughs> he doesn't even know what I'm talking about. Just say thank you. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>here by the pool. Scott is still sleeping. Um, I did a beautiful walk on the beach and kind of explored the town a little bit. So um, it, it's just really sweet and nice here. And a lot of the businesses, if not all of the businesses are locally owned, which I love. It's so fun to be able to be in a place and really support, um, you know, the local economy. So um, the restaurant here is, looks super nice. I'm not sure if we're actually gonna get a chance to eat there. It's called Blue. Um, I slept good last night. Uh, the air conditioner is very loud, as is true with all older beachside hotels. So, you know, can't complain too much about that. And having my own sheets turned out to be a really good idea. We slept really good on the sheets. So, <laughs> you know, it's the little things. That's who I am now. I require nice sheets at beachside hotels. So we are either going into Charleston today or we are hanging around here. Get to be determined. This is really our only full day here because tomorrow we head back to Atlanta. So this is really more just like a trip to check it out and see what we thought um, for maybe coming here for a longer trip in the future. And it's just beautiful. So even in the heat, it's still really pretty. I should have said too, we had dinner at Taco Boy last night. It was so good. It was like really, really good Mexican food and um, a fun atmosphere. And we didn't have to wait but like 15 minutes for a table. I think we're at like the tail end of the busy summer season. I think if you were here in July, it would probably be a different story, but yeah, really nice. Like it's busy here, but it's not crazy busy. No like long lines for anything. Oh, also one of you recommended that I get the um, Dole Whip. There's a little pineapple stand that sells something that apparently tastes like a Dole Whip. So I'll keep you posted. I asked him if he wanted to be on the camera. He said, no, not really. So that's fine. So we're out here. What's the name of this? Uh, McKelvin's. Did I say that right? McKelvin's surf shop. So very, very cool surf shop. Um, Scott surfs, I do not. So he was looking at boards. They have a huge selection of boards. I just look at them, I'm like, oh, that one's pretty, that one's pretty. Evidently there's more to it than that. But um, the surfing weather is not great this week. Um, the waves are not fantastic, although they do have a couple of great surfing schools. So breakfast at Rita's was really, really good. I'm trying to talk Scott into not going into Charleston because I think it's gonna be a great beach day, but um, I think we still may end up doing it. I don't know. Like I said, we're on vacation. See what happens.
Okay, so he's trying to try the crossbreed. We're getting ready to leave. We're heading into Charleston to walk around, maybe have a late lunch. Um, I'm wearing a wool dress and tennis shoes and, you know, tourist friendly situation. And Scott's trying to see if there's a cross breeze. Yes, there's a significant cross breeze. Nice. Yeah. And, okay, ignore this disaster of a hotel room, but we were out there and it was lovely. But now, what is it, Scott? It's a thousand degrees. So we're going to happily head to air conditioned spaces. Our time in Charleston was magical, but very short. We were only there just a few hours. Uh, we walked around. I cannot wait to come back to this city. I need to do one of the historic walking tours. I feel like there is just so much rich history here and we just barely scratched the surface. Our lunch at Magnolia was so good. I had the uh, Parmesan crusted uh, catch of the day, and I think Scott just had a burger, but the service was great, the restaurant was great. Um, I can't wait to come back and explore Charleston more, yes, with a walking tour, but also when the weather is a little bit cooler. It was over 100 degrees by the time we got back in the car, which isn't great for walking around outside, but I'm still really glad we just got a taste of the city and we can't wait to come back. Okay, so we leave tomorrow morning, if you could believe. I mean, we've been here only like just over 24 hours and we leave to head home tomorrow, but we love this town, completely fallen in love with it. I'm talking over very copyright protected music, so I'm not gonna talk for long, but um, yeah, I got a lot to say about Folly Beach and all of it's good and we can't wait to come back. And this is my new hat. Isn't it cute? I think so too. So we've been out here now for, what, Scotty? Half hour? No need to go in anytime soon. That is, wait, is that our hotel? Yeah, that's the hotel, right? Right there? Um, and then there's condos down that way, but obviously it's very close and you have just really easy, the parking here is free too, by the way, which is very unusual anymore for hotels. But um, yeah, we're already coming back when? October. October. Yeah. So we got it. We get. We can't go early October because we got to go to Hawaii. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, we're gonna head up and head back to Atlanta tomorrow, which hopefully will only take five and a half hours and not seven and a half hours. So fingers crossed. We started the car is loaded up we are headed back to atlanta it's saying it's only going to be a five hour and 15 minute drive oh please i so hope that that is the case uh scott is grabbing us a coffee um the car is all filled up and yeah that's it. it's the end of our trip we had such a great time oh my gosh i got to film a little bit extra footage on the beach as we were leaving, I felt like the seagulls were saying goodbye. And honestly, we can't wait to come back. I have some thoughts on the hotel. Um, I, if, if you're planning on a stay there, let me know. Or if you guys want me to do a full review, I would absolutely stay there again with a couple of caveats and just some things to be aware of. And, and just remember that it is an older hotel. I would try to get a good rate um, at rack rate. I think it's a little outrageous, but again, you're paying for that location. And the staff were phenomenally friendly. So yeah, definitely had a really, really great trip to Folly Island and Charleston. Can't wait to come back next time. And thanks for joining me. If you guys like these travel vlogs for me that aren't Disney, let me know and I'll do more of them in the future. And make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. And if you wanna support the work that I do, I don't do sponsored videos, so it's all done through my wonderful patrons. So patrons, thank you very much. You can join us for exclusive content and live stream by going to patreon.com slash Forge. Thanks so much, you guys. Have a great day. I'll see you real soon. Whatever you're doing, I hope you're finding joy. Bye.